recording? Yeah, yeah, we recording now. We recording now. What's good, man? How you doing? Fucking take two, bro. You know what it is. Sure enough. Sure enough. I'm not afraid. Not afraid. Uh, you will be. You will be. You will be. You will be. I'm glad you said that. Uh, because I'm going Let's just get right into it. First off, how you doing? How's the weather out there in Florida right now? Hot than a bitch. And uh, I want your audience to know that we, we did this interview already. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Boy, I forgot to press record, so we're going to do it all over again. That's how much I love y'all. I know this <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we did this interview already, and I asked some of the questions I'm going to ask now, but I think I'm going to kind of, first off, first off, so I know you from a job we had. We ain't gonna say the jobs ain't paying us. Uh, but when I met you, you were you were rapping. You were rapping at the time yeah. with the crew yeah. hood hippies. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and you were also were under the tagline of the Wu affiliate, right? Not not at that time. Not at the time you met. I was already a former Wu affiliate at that time. Okay. 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 All right, so uh, yeah, I wanted to make that clear. Uh, as a matter of fact, w- w- you you got music on Spotify at the moment, right? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, and do are you? What do you? What name do you go under? Say it again. I go under the name Caesar Cipher, Caesar Cipher, and that's Caesar like like the Spanish spelling, not the Roman one. So we're talking C E S A R, and I spell Cipher with an I. I know everybody else spells it with a Y. That's why I spell it with a Y. Okay. So you can find me easy. Okay. 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 You still, are you still making music? Yeah. Yeah. Um, right now it's a little bit on pause. Um, I've been working on this one passion project for years. And the uh, reason why it's taken years is because it's, it's the most honest um, music I've ever done as far as like emotionally and very raw. It's like an exposed nerve. So, it's taken me a long time to put together. It's like, there's parts of it that are actually really hard to write. So um, I just want to make sure I get it right. But that was for me. I got an album that I'm working on. I call it one for me, one for you. Um, the other, the other album is called the dopest rapper you never heard of. And that one is just me spazzing out on, on my own beats. Um, I got like 12, maybe 15 beats. I'm going to end up rocking. Uh, but that was just, I'm just going to bar y'all to death on that one and have fun with it. And then the third project I'm working on is actually the soundtrack for the web series that that I created that we're we're filming at the moment, um, and that's just going to be Renegades, the web series soundtrack. I got the the, the theme song. Um, I did the beat for that, so I'm going to get all the all the artists that are on the show to rock that one with me. And uh, any song that you hear on the show, whether it's original, my beat, not my beat, whatever, it's going to be on that soundtrack. So. Um, there will be songs that are made specifically for the show, and there will be songs that people submitted that I pulled that fit the show. Both of those will be on this soundtrack. So I really got three music projects. Okay, See, that, you stay busy, man. People always talking to me. There are people who talk to me about being busy, having the the show, yeah. having a podcast. Now I got a blog, you know. But the thing is, if you manage your time right, you can pull all yeah. that stuff off. It's a matter of these are seeds. That are being planted. You know what I mean? Oh, God's time. You know, like the idea has been birthed. Um, the work is being put in. I'm I'm gonna be honest with the web series that's taken up like most of my free time now. So I haven't even worked on any new music um, in like a month, which is rare for me because I'm I'm working on something every night. I try to do like. I think everybody should, whatever your passion is or like not your job, obviously you're putting eight hours a day into your job. Then you come home, you got to relax for a little bit. You got to sleep. You got to eat. You got to clean yourself. Just make sure you're taking, I like to say two hours, but at the very least, just take one hour to work on your craft, whatever that is, man. If you like to paint, paint for an hour. If you write poetry, write poetry for an hour. If you just like to read and you just want to read up every fucking book on the planet and, and obtain all that knowledge, Read for an hour every night because that's gonna um that's gonna get your mind right for the next day of the shit that you don't want to do. 
for eight hours. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the most electrifying, the most entertaining, and the downright most incredible channel on YouTube, the Inky Man Channel, where motivation meets gluttony, where Vegas meets victory, and where your love for the Patriots meets its match. Don't miss out on the fun, the food, and the fanaticism because life is too short not to laugh along with Inky Man. Subscribe now to the Inky Man Show channel. Happy Friday, you suckers. Now get ready for the Inky Man Show. At least it works for me. So every night I'm working on my music or something. I'm writing something. I'm making a beat. I'm recording. Um, but I haven't done any of that because I've been editing this show uh, day and night. Every time we, we film a scene... I get the footage, I go home and I get to work. And then, you know, this past weekend, um, we actually shot not this week, not this weekend. I think, yeah, last weekend, um, we shot like five scenes and, uh, a couple of them were, were, were pretty like lengthy scenes. So I just been working on those. So that, I'm glad you brought that up as far as the scenes part. So when it comes to actually filming stuff, um, I don't think that people who are not in the game understand completely what it, what it, when you're doing a scene, for the most part, the actors have to memorize their lines and they have to be able to come off in cohesive, in a cohesive form for it to be a nice piece of a scene. But what is the average take? For the most part, the average take is in like yeah. how long does yeah. one With scene you take? saying like uh, take one, take two, people messing up. How long does a scene average? Go ahead. There's too many factors. There's too many factors to consider because, like, okay, some people remember their lines better than others, and that's okay because a lot of people, I'm one of them. Like, my my lines are in the back of my mind, but when I get there, I like to play with it. So I might add a word or two here and there. Um, so that's going to change things. And for the other actor who's waiting on their cue to be a certain line, you go changing it. Now all of a sudden they got to practice. They got to relearn what they taught themselves and change up the scene on the spot. Um, if we're shooting indoors in a controlled environment, we can pretty much get in and get out as long as it's not like, if there's like a big fight scene or a shootout or something in the scene, okay, that's going to take a little longer. The action takes longer. But if it's just two, three, four people talking, we'll get in and out. Now add to that, we're shooting out in the street in the middle of downtown Lake Worth on a Saturday night, there's so many variables. We were working with two actors that we never worked with before. They just, they came in as special guest stars. Um, so we had to get the chemistry right. They hadn't, they hadn't done any of the table reads that we did as, as a team, um, only because I wanted to keep it separate. I wanted them to come and be raw and not know I needed the scene to be a little awkward. So I, I, I actually directed it that way and it ended up working out. But it took a lot longer than we planned. Um, you know, we wanted to get in and get out in two hours, and it actually ended up taking taking us about three and a half hours to get the entire scene from where it starts to where the girl takes off running to the alley where there's a little shootout and everything. Um, by 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 the end of that, we were happy happy with what we got. But usually, the way it goes is okay. I got my actors, whether they know their lines or not really doesn't make a difference because when I edit it, I'm pulling the pieces that I need anyway. So they could, they could be saying a line and they'll say the line wrong and we're still rolling. And I'll literally be like, pause, say it again. And they'll say the line again. And I could use that take, even though there was nothing around it that goes with it. I can edit it and, and do some editing magic, movie magic, all that. Um, but the important thing is the angles. And the important thing is the actors being in the same places and for the most part, saying the lines the same way. If you know you you scratched your head when you said this line, I need you to scratch your head on that line in every angle, every take, because that's going to make it easier for me to cut together. Now, being that we're not trained actors, you know, we're just we're basically a bunch of hip hop artists and people that like TV and music and entertainment. And, and we feel like we have a little bit of a knack for it and we can do it, too. So we're throwing our hat in the ring. We're not perfect. So. I'm finding when I go to edit, I have to look for those key moments where they actually did the okay. same thing twice because they're also trying things. You know what I mean? We're trying to see what works and, and what what looks good, what doesn't look good. Oh, wait, I didn't like when your hand was there. You covered his face, so don't do that no more. But now we have a take with it and a take without it. So which one ends up 
going is the one that fits with the other takes. <laughs> that's how it's going down right now. But that's what happens when you have no budget. <laughs> I'm out, yo. Tune in next week for part two of our conversation with rapper ad filmmaker Caesar Cipher.